بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم اللهم اجعلنی فیه محبا لأولیائک یا الله in this month make me among those put me among those who love your friends و معادیان لأعدائک and of those who hate your enemies مستنن به سنت خاتم انبیائک following the practice the way of your last prophet یا آسم قلوب النبیین او the one who protects the heart of the prophets this is a very lofty dua that we are making in this day to be granted to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the major things, one of the highest and most quality type of worship is what is described for us in many different traditions. Al-hubbu fillah wal bughru fillah Love for the sake of God hate for the sake of God. And this means we have to transcend our blood lines and our blood relations. We have to transcend our tribe bonds and tribe relations. Transcend our nationality. Transcend our race. We have to see who is closer to Allah, we love them for that, regardless of their race, of their nationality, of their tribe, of their bloodline, blood links, we have to completely ignore that for the sake of Allah. Who is closer to God? To love them. And on the other hand, we have to look who is more distant from Allah, who turns away from God, who is the enemy of God, so that we have that animosity in our heart for that reason, not for other reasons, not because of blood, not because of race, not because of nation, not because of nationality, nothing of that. And especially if you think about this in, that, in, in the very tribal community, uh, where it, the, the tribal society at the time of the Prophet, you would see how important this was. al If our closest relative is an enemy of God, we don't like them because of that, regardless of our relation to them. Is the farthest person to us is someone who loves God, we love them for that reason. اللهم اجعلني فيها محبا لأوليائك In this month make me to love your friends, your awliya. Awliya Allah are those who have completely dedicated their, their heart, their soul, their lives to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this way they become friends of Allah. Some of us not only are not friends of Allah, we are enemies of Allah. Because Allah as I said before, hates evil. And if we carry evil, then of course we are putting animosity, we are waging war against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we may not be among your awliya, among your friends, because we may not purely, we may not have purely dedicated ourselves to you. However, what we are asking is that we love those awliya because of you. وَمُعَادِيًا لَأَعْدَائِكْ And to be enemy of your enemies. And this is the most, the best instance of selflessness. We do not make bonds because of selfish, because of selfish elements. We make Bonds because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mustannan bi sunnati khatam anbiya'ik. Following the 
practice the footpath of your prophet, the, of, the, of your last prophet, because that is what would lead to prosperity. And of course, Sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a partner of the Qur'an. Ya asama qulub al nabiin O the one who protect the heart of the prophets from any evil. And therefore, whatever is in the sunnah of the prophets is actually that protected way, that way which comes from a protected heart. Wa sallallahu ala muhammadin wa alayhi.